Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm working on, I'm working on getting this uh, leading edge uh, sheeting um, on the wing. You can see I've got this all ferrothaned. I have my uh, uh, strut brackets and my my root brackets all in place, and so I'm ready to put on the uh, the leading edge. I'm going to start with the uh, the root section. Um, I have the I have the middle section soaking in the water uh, right now, so as soon as, uh, as soon as that's done soaking, I can put it in the form, and uh, which is uh, always a good thing. And then as soon as that one goes in the form, I can start soaking the the tip one, and hopefully I can get this this leading edge done um, pretty soon, so I can flip this thing back around and get this aileron. Um, cut free and uh, yeah I just want to get past this left wing uh, ready to move on to something other than wing as I as I mentioned before the uh, the bulk of the work is in the wings um, once you get uh, once you get those done um, everything else builds there's just not as many parts I uh, was going to show you um, I had a little incident um, over here. I'm using some steel plates to some steel to weight down uh, weight down my wing here, and I actually dropped one, which was a total bummer. Um, but I did. I dropped it, and it actually hit right here. I don't know if you can see that little dent right there. And then it also hit like right here. Um, you can see that dent, that dent right there. So it snapped the plywood loose here. So I'm gonna have to take these apart. Um, probably have to go on the inside and brace this uh, this rib here. And then I got to This one's a little easier. It didn't crush very far, so. Um, I can either uh, plywood gusset the side of that and then fill it in, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Um, but it didn't, it didn't seem to hit anywhere else except those two, those two spots. Um, there's just a very slight indention here and nothing else down here. So I think I'm in good shape everywhere else, but hey. Stuff happens, and uh, fortunately, we're working with wood, and that's uh, that's easy to uh, that's easy to repair. So, uh, just wanted to show you that, um, just to uh, <laughs> if nothing else, things don't always go perfect. So, uh, yeah. So what I do, what what I've done here is, um, I have a line marked an eighth of an inch back from um, from the spar edge here and then I took a uh, chalk line and I snapped the line all the way down I don't know if you can see that line there we go um, snap the line all the way down to the tip here and so that gives me a nice uh, a nice line to set my uh, set my plywood um, against I'll just reveal the line and then I'll have an I know I've got a nice straight straight line going here which will help when you get the plywood set in place and I just noticed I've got a little bit of uh, I had everything all prepped it looks like I just missed this one little section right here There's just a little bit of bare thing That's taken care of. Yeah, so I sanded, sanded all these to make sure they didn't have any varathane on them, uh, because the some dripped down from the from the edge when I was doing these. So I got all those prepped. I flipped the wing over. I did the same thing on the bottom. Um, got those all prepped, and so uh, yeah, the uh, uh, it's just a little bit cooler in here than normal today. So. I've got my epoxy 
um, warming up over here in front of the lamp uh, just makes it flow a lot easier. So, all right. So I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get set up and get some epoxy going, and we'll get this. First, we'll test fit this like I did before with the uh, the bungees, and we'll get we'll get those in position, and then we'll. Uh, you can see the this has been varathaned on the inside. Just use blue painter's tape, mark it off where the ribs are and where this is, and then everywhere that's wood, um, we'll get uh, epoxy and then also epoxy on all of these parts and then we'll put it together and we will we'll, uh, clamp it in place and with the uh with the bungees and we'll be ready to go so all right let me get some bungees out and get this test fit all right so i got i got two bungees in place uh i'm just using some wooden dowels and my blue ones will stretch all the way around. Some of the other ones I have to double up. But this is how I'll start out. I'll just put two on, and it looks like everything fits really well. So um, I'll just put two bungees on to get started, and then I'll add, uh, I'll actually end up with like six or so when I'm done here. So, uh, and I ended up good here. I've got plenty of room. And, uh, And then what I'll do is as soon as, uh, as soon as I get it in place like this with the epoxy on, I'll just, I'll just put a couple staples in here um, to start with, just so to hold it so it doesn't move, um, probably four or six or whatever, and then, and then I'll finish wrapping the, uh, uh, finish wrapping the other bungees. So, all right, so I feel good now. And uh, this looks really good. And so it's time to uh, get some epoxy going.
All right, so I got that all taken care of. You can see, uh, you can see right here. Um, this all came out really nice. Uh, can't quite see in there, but um, I uh, got really good glue squeeze out all the way around here. It's nice and tight to the uh, leading edge piece. And uh, everything looks really good. So, and as far as staples go, I, I go about maybe an inch and a half or so um, all the way along here. And then I come back and, and do them in between on the bottom. And that gives you good uh, good attachment. So, uh, yeah, so since I'm all set kind of here, what I thought I would do is go ahead and uh, go ahead and get this tank um, area in and you can see I marked it out uh, where the rails are and scuffed it up where I'm gonna put epoxy then I'll also epoxy epoxy on down here on these three members this one this one and this one and then the, this will go in um, I just have it set at a quarter inch so I just drop a piece of quarter inch in here and then I can push it up against that and get it positioned uh, where it goes, which is uh, right about there. I just had mine set where the front edge was in line with this uh, quarter inch vertical piece, the back side of that. So, so I'll get this in here and then I'll uh, get that stapled in place and uh, sitting in there nice and nice and flat so yeah all right so i'll mix up some epoxy again and uh get this get this put in i have easy access to it right now so i might as well do it all right cool checking out the video um, I was able to get uh, uh, get this tank uh, uh, tank base in uh, place which is cool I got this uh, leading edge sheeting on the uh, the root and everything looks really good for the next one um, to go on it's outside uh, it's outside soaking so I'll be able to get that in the form before I before I take off so that'll be drying. Um, I did, I did take care of these a uh, couple of areas back here that were uh, um, where I dropped the metal. So that's uh, as soon as that's dry um, and set up, I'll be able to sand uh, sand those out and um, check everything else out. Everything else looks really good. So didn't uh, didn't really do. Uh, didn't do much in the damage category, which is great. 
So, um, yeah, if, if uh, you're not a subscriber um, and you want to follow along, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss any of uh, any of these videos. And, um, yeah, as always, I'll catch you later.